guys welcome back to my channel so this is my first ever Valentine's look for you today I went for a really dewy glowy skin look for you with a really easy eye and then I went for the traditional red lip for you as well if you want to see how I created this look then continue watching this video and please remember to subscribe as well if you haven't already see you guys later bye Right, so I'm going to start off with Benefit Oola Lift under the eyes just to prime everything. And then I'm going to put on Benefit Professional just to make everything more smoother. Now I'll start off patting this into the pores first so it fills in the pores and then I'll just go over it and put the remaining product on my nose. Now to prime my skin, I'm going to use Makeup Revolution Strobe Cream because I want a luminous, dewy look to the face. Just gives it a golden glow. Now for foundation, I'm going to use Milani's Perfect and Conceal Foundation in the shades Golden Tan and Medium Tan. Now to carry on with the theme of having a glowy look, I'm just going to put two drops of facial oil. And the one that I'm using is N Spa, and I got this from Tesco. So just mix everything on the back of my hand and just go in on the face. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques buffer brush to just blend everything in because it is a dunce brush that will give me the most coverage that I want. So I'm going to colour correct under my eyes using Bobbi Brown's corrector in a dark pink. And just get it into the inner corner of my eye mainly. I'm going to use my finger first just to blend that in and then I'll go in with the brush. And I'm going to prime my eyes while I do my brows so I'm just using this Smashbox 24 hour eye primer and I put it on the back of my hands warm up with the finger and then I'll go in and then I'm going to set it with Rimmel London's pressed powder as well Right, so I'm just going to do my brows and then I'll be right back. So I'm going to start the eye makeup. So the look that I'm going for is a simple makeup look with a wing liner. So I just want to define the crease. So I'm going to go with creme brulee just to put that through the crease and give it a bit of dimension so I'm just using wiping motions and in the outer corner I'll just use circular motions right now I'm going to go in with a little more of a darker brown colour and this is Frappe and just put that just in the crease rather than working it up towards the brow. So I'm just going to let this brush do all the blending for me. Right, so to clean underneath the brow, I'm going to use Peach the Smoothie. Yep. 
And I'm just going to go with my angled eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques that I used earlier just to lay down creme brulee and blend those two colours in together. Right, so that's the eyes for now. So I'm just going to put concealer under my eyes. I'm using Maybelline's Anti-Age Rewind in the shade Nude. I'm just applying that in the usual places, so under the eyes, the nose, forehead, and the lip on the chin. I'm just going to blow that out with my beauty blender. Right, so I'm just going to set my concealer now with my collection loose powder. And this is in transparent this time. And a bit more, just get rid of any creases and then go in with the powder. Then I'll just set the rest of my face. And I'm just going to rest. The rest. <laughs> I'm just going to powder the rest of my face with the same trans. Um, stone matte powder. And then I'm going to brush away the rest of the powder under the eye. So now I'm going to bronze my face and I'm using the Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar Palette. And I'm using this brown colour here just to bronze up the skin. And I'm using a cheek brush from Royal Techniques as well. So I'm just putting it onto my cheeks and then on the temple. I'm also going to take it under the jawline too. Alright, so I'm just going to bake under my jawline now just to make it look more cleaner. So now for highlighter, I'm going to use my Anastasia So Hollywood highlighter. I'm just going to get my setting brush from Real Techniques and just apply that onto the highest points of my face. I kind of make it into a C shape where I put it above my eyebrows too. And then on the nose. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just pass it over where I've highlighted so it doesn't look so powdery. So for blush today, I'm going to use Max Peach Twist and it's got a bit of a shimmer to it which will go with the bronzy look that we're going for today. Onto the temple part of my face too. And I'm just going to blend off a big that we had. So we're going to move back on to the eyes and with my angled brush I'm going to pick up Frappe or Makeup Geek and just run that on the lower lash line. Right, so once that's blended out I'm going to go with the eyeliner now. So I've just got a fine liner brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to use Rimmel's Gel Liner. Now I want a quite a dramatic eyeliner look today. I'm just going to line my lash line. And then I'm just going to flick it out. And then just drag that back like that. Right, so I've just done my eyeliner, so it's a bit thicker than what I would usually do because I'm going for quite a simplistic look. I wanted it to be quite thick on the outer corner. Now for lashes, I'm using Maybelline's Lash Sensational. Right, 
and then for the lower lash lines I'm going to use Maybelline's The Four C's Push Up Angel it's got a really small brush so I'm just going to put brow gel on and this is one from Rimmel London and it's Brow This Way in Door. Right, so for lips, I've got about four options here. So I've got Ruby Roo by MAC. These. And then I've got MAC Red, also by MAC. And then I've got Jeffree Star's uh, Rich Blood and Beauty Bakery's Cranberry Stiletto. So before I do that, I'm just going to line my lips first. So I've got this Maybelline Colour Sensational in the colour Pleasure Me Red. I'm just going to line my lips with it first. I'm going to go with Cranberry Saletta because it's the most long wearing lipstick that I have. So here's a close up of the eyes. So you can see the winged liner is thicker on the outer corner and a bit more sharper too. And I went for a dark blue tone red colour for the lips and kept the skin very glowy. So here's the final look guys. As you can see I have added a inner corner highlight there because I just felt like I needed something to make it glow and that was Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek and this is the final look. I hope you like it. I like it. It's very easy. If you did like this video and you enjoyed watching me then please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. And leave any comments down below on anything else that you would like me to film. Right, see you guys later. Bye.